Historically, lung cancer has been treated with a large incision between the ribs. And in the early mid-90s, we began to investigate uses of the laparoscope, which was used to do gallbladders and so forth, uh, in the chest. So we began uh, uh, using the devices to do more limited resections uh, with this. And ultimately, uh, we were able to have instrumentation which is allow us to do more anatomic resections. In other words, a lobectomy and segments and so forth uh, with the video instruments, so-called video thoracoscopy. Probably uh, at this point, two-thirds to three-quarters of my patients undergo a video-assisted approach. And in the most recent Society of Thoracic Surgeons database, which enters all the information on lung cancer surgery for 500 uh, centers in the U.S., it's around two-thirds of all of the resections are done that way now. And we've watched that evolve from centers such as my own, where we were islands that did this 12, 15 years ago now, to the majority of centers have uh, surgeons that are facile with the scope. The advantage to the patients uh, is is obvious if you don't have an incision on your side, you have two or three small holes of uh, about three quarters to half an inch, uh, your recovery time is faster. Uh, less drainage from the tubes, home faster. I have people playing golf and tennis in two weeks. Certainly everyone's driving in two weeks. And what we found in a lot of the, the investigations we've done, not only that, if a patient has a larger tumor that requires adjuvant chemotherapy, which is chemotherapy after surgery, uh, sometimes there is a delay in the recovery of the patient because of a large incision so that it delays their chemotherapy. And we found with a video-assisted approach, uh, there is no delay, and so patients are able to get their therapies on time uh, and are able to tolerate them better because they haven't had such a large insult. Now, not all cancers are able to be resected with a video-assisted approach, but I will say that in 2015, the vast majority are. You can do pneumonectomies or take out the whole lung with a scope. We can do surgery after chemotherapy and radiation. I just did one of those last week with a large tumor, but we were able to do it with a scope. You can take out two lobes with a scope. I mean, uh, you can do chest wall resections with a scope, so that's much less invasive. So we've really reserved now the large incisions um, for really large operations that require you, frankly, from a safety standpoint, have your hands in there. But our instrumentation is so good uh, with the video-assisted technique that we're able to do on lots of people. The next question people ask is, what's the difference between using the video thoracoscopy and the robot? And the robot has come along over the last five to six years as another potential instrumentation in a minimally invasive fashion that you can use for patients. The robot does require several small holes, but they're all holes about a quarter centimeter each. And the robot allows the surgeon at the console to really see things well. The video system that I use magnifies things about three times, and I'm at the table with my hands uh, using instruments through small holes. With the robot, it magnifies things six to ten times, and you have a virtual reality headset that you wear that really shows you things in three dimensions. And what's nice about the robot hand, whereas my sticks, I can only do this, the robot has a little wrist on it, so it'll move in all directions inside the chest. And, and some surgeons like that for its mobility. In my center, we have two surgeons that use the robot. There are three of us that, that use the video-assisted technique. We have the same results, uh, and I think the two, uh, the two methods are equivalent. And I think that uh, they are allowing us to do more things uh, in smaller areas in patients because frankly, our goal is to remove a cancer and not hurt the patient. You know, at first, do no harm, as we're all taught. And uh, these minimally invasive techniques have allowed us to do that. The other nice thing about it is that we have videos that the patients can watch and see the surgery, see the incisions, and see what's going to happen to them. And I think they're more informed uh, when they make the decision of whether or not uh, they would like to have a video-assisted approach for their operation.